Once upon a time, there was a Zen master named Akira. He lived in a beautiful valley. His wisdom and serenity attracted seekers from far and wide. One day, a troubled young man named Kenta arrived at the temple seeking guidance. Kenta's mind was in turmoil, restless like a turbulent river, and he sought to learn how to control it. Master Akira, Kenta asked with a troubled expression, my mind is constantly filled with worries, doubts, and fears. I cannot find peace within myself. Please teach me how to tame my wandering mind. Master Akira nodded with a gentle smile and led Kenta on a walk to a serene lake at the outskirts of the village. The lake was so clear that it reflected the surrounding mountains like a mirror. Master Akira gestured for Kenta to sit by the shore and observe. Look at the lake, the Zen master spoke softly. Observe the ripples formed by the slightest breeze. Your mind is like this lake, easily disturbed by external factors. Kenta watched the lake attentively as a gentle breeze caressed its surface, creating ripples that disrupted the once clear reflection of the mountains. He could see his own mind in the ripples, turbulent and agitated. Now close your eyes, Master Akira instructed, and listen to the sounds around you. Kenta closed his eyes, and the symphony of nature revealed itself. Birds chirped, leaves rustled, and a distant waterfall sang its gentle melody. But amidst these harmonious sounds, Kenta noticed something else, a faint whisper, almost inaudible. What do you hear? Master Akira asked. I hear a soft whisper, like the distant voice of my own thoughts, Kenta replied. Master Akira nodded. That whisper is the voice of your mind, just like the ripples on the lake. It is always present, but you must learn to observe it without becoming entangled in its turmoil. The young man opened his eyes, and a sense of wonder filled his heart as he grasped the lesson before him. Master Akira continued to guide Kenta in various mindfulness practices to help him observe his thoughts without attachment or judgment. Days turned into weeks, and Kenta diligently practiced the teachings of the Zen master. With time, he discovered that by observing his thoughts like passing clouds, they lost their power to overwhelm him. He realized that he could choose which thoughts to entertain and which to let go. One evening, as the sun dipped behind the mountains, Kenta and Master Akira sat together by the serene lake once more. Kenta's mind was now calmer, and he felt a sense of inner peace he had never experienced before. Master, Kenta began with gratitude in his voice. I cannot thank you enough for guiding me on this path. I have learned to observe my mind and let go of its restless waves. I feel free and at peace. Master Akira smiled warmly. You have realized the power lies within you, not in the external world. Just as the lake remains serene despite the ripples, your mind can find tranquility amidst the chaos. As the moon ascended, casting a gentle glow on the water's surface, Kenta asked one final question. Master, what is the ultimate purpose of taming the mind? Master Akira replied, The ultimate purpose is to realize the true nature of the mind and its connection to the universe. The mind is like the vast sky, and thoughts are like clouds that come and go. When you understand this, you become the observer of your thoughts, and in that observer you find the eternal calm, the core of your being. From that day forth, Kenta dedicated himself to the practice of mindfulness, and he grew wiser, more compassionate, and at peace with himself and the world around him. He shared the wisdom he had gained with others, helping them find serenity amidst life's challenges. Moral, in the tranquil tale of the serene lake and the whispering mind, we learn the profound lesson of controlling our thoughts and taming our minds. Just as the lake remains serene despite the ripples caused by external forces, we too can find inner peace by observing our thoughts without attachment or judgment. Through mindfulness and self-awareness, we discover that we are not defined by our fleeting thoughts. Instead, we are the calm observer, the eternal consciousness that exists beyond the chaos of the mind. By understanding this, we can choose to entertain positive and constructive thoughts while letting go of negativity and turmoil. The ultimate purpose of controlling our minds is to realize our inherent connection to the universe, understanding that we are part of a larger cosmic harmony. When we embrace this insight, 
We can find true serenity and live a life of wisdom, compassion, and profound inner peace, positively influencing ourselves and the world around us. Thus, the path to mastering the mind is the path to unlocking the boundless potential of the human spirit.